Hello everyone and I hope that you're well. Uh, welcome to another video. Um, so today's recipe um, I'm going to be showing you how to make um, chaat masala chips or french fries. Uh, this is a really popular street food. Um, you can find this um, all over Lahore um, and uh, that sort of region. Um, so I thought I would show you how to make them because they're quite easy, uh, quite simple and very very tasty. <laughs> So let's begin with the ingredients. So I'm going to be using two medium sized potatoes, some fresh coriander leaves, um, about one ta tablespoon of gram flour or basin, uh, one and a half teaspoon of chaat masala. Um, now I prepared this one at home um, and I will leave the, it, all the information in the description. But you can easily find this at any um, Asian supermarket. One teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli flakes, half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of crushed black pepper. Uh, and I'll also be using um, oil so that we can deep fry the chips or french fries. Okay, so let's begin making um, the french fries. Um, so I've started um, a little bit of preparation. So I've taken my two uh, medium sized potatoes and I've cut them into chip like pieces. Um, so they are all ready, I took the skin off, um, it's optional, you can also have um, chips with the skin on, that tastes really nice as well, but um, for today I have taken the skin off and chopped them into chip like pieces. Um, and I've also got some oil for deep frying which I'm about to heat up. Um, I'm going to put that on a sort of medium to high heat, let it warm and then I'll just keep it at that temperature um, so that these uh, chips fry really nicely. I've also cut up a little bit of coriander um, and I've also prepared my um, board with a little bit of kitchen paper um, just so that when I'm finished frying it's all ready and it's all prepared and I can put the chips onto uh, the kitchen paper and it will just absorb any little bit of oil that might be still there to keep them nice and crispy. Um, but I find when I'm deep frying I like to have all the preparation done so that it's easy and I can stay in control while I'm deep frying. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to prepare the chips next um, and then we'll get cooking. Okay, so I have just put the oil on so it's gonna get nice and hot. And I'm just going to prepare the chips or french fries. Um, so I'm just basically going to prepare it with um, gram flour or basin. Um, and the rest of the spices um, and the salt and the chaat masala will all go in afterwards once we have fried them. So I'm just going in for the a very sort of um, basic chip uh, recipe um, and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the gram flour and give it a little mix. I'm just going to coat them all evenly. Okay, so I have finished coating the chips in the um, ground flour or basin, um, and I believe my oil is now hot enough. I'll just test it with one. Yep, I think that's good. So I'm just going to add the fries now. So I think I'll do this in two batches, um, just so the, the oil stays nice and hot and that they cook nicely. So we're waiting for them to go um, slightly golden in colour and um, obviously nice and fluffy in the middle, just how we all like our chips to be. <laughs> it's really easy actually to make chips at home and it costs um, much less probably than uh, buying a pack of um, ready-made chips, even though they may well be a little bit more convenient. I mean, I've used um, leftover oil from bakoras and other things because me and my often do have fried food as a snack. Um, and so you can just reuse the oil a few times. Um, and uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's really easy. And um, I think they taste better anyway, because um, you get to make them just how you like it. 
Okay, so I've been um, frying these for probably around three minutes um, and they have gone such a lovely golden colour. Um, so I think they are ready to now be transferred onto the tissue. So I'm just going to gently do that and remove as much oil as I can. Now I am ready to go in with the second batch. Okay, so the chips um, are cooling nicely. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to transfer some of them to a bowl. It just sounds so uh, crispy. <laughs> And uh, welcome, let's do all of them actually. I didn't know whether they were going to fit in the bowl or not, but it looks like it's fine. Okay, so basically I'm just going to now add the rest of the spices. So let's do salt. I like a little, quite a lot of salt on my chips, um, but just do your kind of taste really. Uh, I've got my black pepper. And Kashmiri red chilli flakes, these are completely optional but I do love my spice so I'll be adding plenty of these. And of course the chaat masala. And the fresh coriander. Oh I can smell that chaat masala. It's just hit me, it smells good. <laughs> and I'm just going to basically mix these together. Now that looks delicious. <laughs> I cannot wait to try those. Just thought I'd show you a close-up of the chaat masala fries and they are beautifully coated in all that spice and with that fresh bit of coriander just gives it a little bit of uh, refreshing coriander taste as well uh, so I cannot wait to tuck in. Okay so our um, chaat masala fries are now ready to try um, and I've got some tomato ketchup um, they just look so inviting, they smell lovely, they're still warm, still crispy um, and I just want to dig in basically. <laughs> Let's try without the tomato ketchup first. Oh yeah, that is delicious. That is so, so nice. Um, it's exactly the kind of street food that is so popular for a reason. Um, the spices just make it a little bit different. Someone like myself who um, normally you would just get the kind of typical uh, salt and pepper chips. But chaat masala chips are just full of spice, full of flavour. It's quite a unique flavour. And the little bits of um, Kashmiri... Um, chilli flakes, they just give a little bit of heat, which I personally really love, and the coriander just kind of freshens it up, um, makes it a little bit more sort of um, upmarket than maybe your average chips. Um, so I am going to sit here now and enjoy these. <laughs> very, very, very Moorish. <laughs> Well, I hope you really enjoyed this video um, and I hope that maybe you learned something um, and you found it very useful and maybe you'll try this uh, yourself at home rather than buying um, chips already made. That's totally up to you.
Uh, if you want to find out any more of our recipes, you can go to our website, which is www.spicykisser.co.uk and we also have social media like uh, Instagram and Facebook, so you can follow us there as well. Um, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't done already and I cannot wait to see you again next time. So take care for now and goodbye!